So once you have the photo that you want to use and you're in the Layers panel, go up to your background layer and right click to create a duplicate. And then turn your background layer off because we're going to work with the duplicate. And then come up here and choose Add Photo Layer. And we're going to choose this hand, so double click. And we want to remove the white background. So come up here to the Select Area tool and choose the Magic Wand selection. And then just click the white canvas to select it. And then choose the Delete selection. And then you'll need to unclear the selection, so click that. And then choose the Pick and Move tool and just move this down a bit. And the next thing we want to do is duplicate this image so, and then we're going to resize it so that it's the size of a smaller a 4x6 photo that we're going to set in the hand. So right click on this layer to duplicate it. And while you're still, while you still have it selected, choose the pick and move tool. Oops, it was already selected. And then just come down here to the corner and resize it. And drag it to right about there to make it look like the hand is actually holding it. And it's behind the hand right now, so we're going to bring it to the front. So click, while it's still selected, click and drag and put it on top of the hand. And now we need to make a selection of the hand. We're going to copy the thumb. Let me show you. So turn this layer off. And then while you're on the hand, come up here to the Select Area tool and choose the Smart Lasso. So click this little arrow in the corner here and choose Smart Lasso. And just click on the top of the thumb and then just make a selection around the thumb. And because it's the Smart, the smart Lasso, it recognizes the edges of the thumb so you don't have to worry about being super precise because the program is doing the work for you. So once you've closed that selection, double click and then choose Command C to copy and Command V to paste. And it automatically puts it on its own layer. So the next thing that we want to do is go ahead and turn that background layer off. So it's just the hand. and turned this layer on of the 4x6 photo. And now what we want to do is take that thumb selection that we just created and click and drag it so that it's on top. And then take go on this layer of the 4x6 photo and choose the pick and move tool and just drag it so that there's no, so that it's not overlapping on the thumb at all. There we go. So that looks good. So we can turn our background layer to see how it all looks together. That looks good. And then turn that background layer off just for this last part. So turn it back off and come up to your 4x6 photo. And we're going to make this black and white. So click on Adjust Layer and take your saturation slider and move it all the way to the left to make it black and white and click OK. And then you can turn your background layer back on to see how it all looks. 
And that looks good. Now the only thing I want to do is merge the 4x6 photo with the hand so that I can move these together. So I need to turn my background layer off because we don't want to merge that. And then click on the top layer and hold the command key down and click on the next two layers. So with all three of those selected, right click and choose Merge Visible and then turn your background layer back on and then with that merged layer selected we can now move this, these two together and rotate you can resize it if you want and that's it I hope you like this video.